Hey guys, welcome to the 82nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the font dialog. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And make sure your text box is multi line so we can type multiple lines of text in our text box. Once you have those on your form, just go ahead and double click on your button. In order to create a new font dialog, we're just going to use font dialog. I'll just call it FD for font dialog, and I'm just going to go ahead and set it equal to a new font dialog. Just like all the other dialogs, we're going to make an if statement, or create an if statement, making sure that the user actually selects um, a font, oops, show dialog, um, in the font dialog, and they don't like exit out of it or something. All right. So now that we have the um, font dialog created and we also have an if statement checking to see if they select a font, we are going to set Xbox One's um, font equal to whatever font um, the user selects in the font dialog. So we're going to do fd.font. Font property just returns a font, so we'll just set it equal to Xbox One's font. So now we need to debug here. We click this button, we should just get a font dialog. Yep, we can choose some fonts. I'll just choose this Calibri or whatever, and get bold, change the size, click OK. Now when we type in here, we can type in that font. And we can change the font of that as well. We just change it to this playbill, I guess. Click OK. Yep, we can do that as well. There are many different properties inside of the font class. For example, you can make it so the user can only select um, like max size and minimum size. You can change the size of the font that the user can select. So if you only want, for the, if you want the minimum size that the user can select for the font to be like 10, now when you open the font dialog, you cannot um, set it any lower than 10. If you try to make it 9, they won't let you. Yep, the size must be between 10 and that very large number. You can also set the maximum. So if you want the maximum size that the user can set the font to be like 20, then you can do that. So now if we try to set a font um, any higher than 20, if we try to set it equal to 23, we'll get an error. Yep, size must be between 10 and 20 points. So if we set it to 11, then it's okay. You can also choose whether or not you want them to be able to um, select a color. So we can just do show color. If you want them to be able to select a color, you just set this equal to true. So now when you open our font dialog, you should be able to select, select a color. Yep. So if we choose lime or something, we should see lime in this text box. Right? Actually, no. If you want to be able to change the um, color of the text inside of the text box, you're going to have to do textbox one dot four color and set that equal to font dialog's color, or whatever color the user selects in the font dialog. So now it should work just fine. So now if we choose like blue or something, type in here, yep, the font is blue. You can also create um, or choose if you want there to be a help button, so we can do show help. And if you set that equal to true, there will be now be a help button on your font dialog. You have to see this help button. But currently, when we click it, nothing happens. And just like in a color dialog tutorial, you're going to have to do um, or just create a new event handler for that, and just help request plus equals to create new uh, event handler. Just uh, double tap tab. So I'll just create it, and yeah, now we just have this method that will be invoked when the event is raised. So now, as soon as someone clicks the help button. Whatever code that we put in here will be executed. So if we just have a message box show saying um, choose a font for the text box. So now whenever we click that help button, we should get a message box saying choose a font for the text box. Yep, choose a font for the text box. So we can do that now, choose this font, change the color, strike out. Underline, click OK. Now we type, yep, it's striked out, underlined, and it's gray. So that's pretty much all there is to the font dialog. 
So see you guys.